YouTube! What is going on? It's Huncho here, back with another video. This one's going to be focused on input delay. Um, there's one thing I want to say. If you have not already, the video that I did on Friday, a few days ago, for boosting your FPS, you need to do that one first before you do this one, because some of them are add-ons of what I did to the other video to lower your latency, and if you do this one without doing the other one, you could have issues within that. Um, so go back and do that one. It's in the description of this video as well. Also, the timer resolution video that I did, I will also put it in the description. I highly recommend doing it this way instead of a different way that you guys have done it before. We're at 1,500 subscribers right now. When we get to 2,000, I'm going to show you guys my uh, NVIDIA Inspector profile for lowering latency, and it somewhat increases your FPS. I'm testing it out right now. Join the Discord down below for a chance to um, get it tested out on you. Okay, so everything we need is again in this same folder from the video from Friday. So I recommend um, using Latency Monitor to test what your system latency is right now and then do it after the video as well so that way you can see how much it changed. We're going to make sure we create a system restore point though just in case something does go wrong if you do something wrong. We're going to go to sit control panel, system, advanced system settings, system protection, create right here at the bottom, and then you can name it whatever you want, like before Huncho 97. Okay, so I want to talk about this startup folder really quick. If you have not done this yet, again, make sure you do this um, and put it in your startup folder. So this deletes like the Fortnite game file, your prefetch, your temp, and your Windows temp. If you want your Fortnite game folder, because it doesn't delete the folder itself, it deletes the files. If you want to keep your game user settings, just put it on properties and read only and it won't delete. So if you're a type of person that puts show grass on false and the foliage and shading quality on zero and zero, for me, it doesn't increase my FPS at all. Um, but it might for you guys if you have lower systems. So try that out as well, and if you just put it on read only, it deletes everything else except the game user settings. Most of the things we're going to be doing right now are going to be in Device Manager, so make sure we open this up. Then we're going to open the Interrupt Affinity tool. And lastly, we're going to open up regedit. So run reg edit. We can just minimize these right now. Just keep this up. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here is turning things off on your computer that you're not using. So this, as long as you don't, if, if you listen to what I say and make sure that you don't delete anything that is connected to something because you're not really deleting it all you're doing is disabling it nothing's going to happen and if you do have like lower fps or stutters or something you can just turn it back on as long as nothing's connected to it it's not going to affect anything okay so as you'll see in my timer resolution video with turning the high precision event timer off by disabling it we're also going to go down to intel management engine interface right click on it disable any PCI root ports that have nothing connected, so you have to be careful here because you're going to have your NVMe SSD or your hard drive or whatever you have connected to this, but the ones that have nothing connected to it, disable it. But make sure you do not disable the one that's connected to anything. So we're also going to disable the SM bus, which is the same on AMD, I'm pretty sure, and the SPI flash controller. Unless you have two graphics cards, you likely have an empty PCI controller. As you see with this down arrow here, it shows me that I have my NVIDIA connected to the times 8 one. So we're going to disable the times 16. For me, I don't use the audio on my monitor itself. I use it through headphones, so I disable the high definition audio controller. I also don't use the USB ports that are on the same PCI slot as me. This helps a lot for input delay related to your graphics card. Um, a way to test this is if you have enough ports and you don't use all of them, is just to just turn it off and see if it works. And if it's not connected, if your like mouse or something isn't connecting, just plug it into a different port until it works. And I also don't use the USB Type-C ports either. 
Okay, so now we're coming down to this, the Microsoft GS Wavetable Synthesizer. Don't disable hyper virtual virtualization if you have, so you go into Task Manager, Performance, your CPU. If you have twice as many processors as cores, don't disable the hyper virtualization infrastructure driver. Then we're going to disable the NDIS virtual network adapter. Remote desktop device redirector bus. When you disable this, it'll say, do you want to restart your PC right now? Just say no. It'll turn off once you restart your PC after. And then the UM bus root bus uh, enumerator as well. Okay, so after this, we've disabled a bunch of things in device manager. Make sure you keep this open. Now we're going to go into the interrupt affinity tool. As you remember with our graphics card, we already set this up in the previous video, but now we're going to do it for the USB slot that our mouse and keyboard are connected to or controller. So the way to check that again is devices by connection. And then I've already disabled my USBs that are not connected to it, but then you can just see in this, I have all of mine connected to the same USB port. So if you don't have them both on the same USB port, you can either make sure they're connected to the same one by unplugging and plugging them in again, or you can do it for both of the USB ports that I'm gonna show you over here. So what we're gonna do is right click on the USB controller, go to properties, PCI bus zero, 20, function zero. We're gonna find the name of it. So you can also go to driver, I'm sorry, details, device description, and the name will match. You also wanna make sure, cause sometimes you'll have two of the same thing that have the same name. The PCI bus is the same. So we're 020 with that same name. And we're gonna connect that to our CPU four. If you have, again, in task manager, if you have eight cores, 16 processors, four cores, eight processors, we're gonna do CPU four and five. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing for the USB root hub that is connected to this. So again, right click properties, the name under device description is USB root hub USB 3.0. So I know mine's all the way at the bottom here, right here. And we're gonna do the exact same thing with CPU four or CPU four and five. Okay, so we can close out of that. Now we're gonna go into our reg edit and we're going to search. I like to run to do it. You type in MS info 32 and you'll get this screen. We can just minimize this for right now. Okay, so we're gonna go into local machine system current control set, services, NDIS, right here. So if NDIS does not exist, we're gonna right click, make a new key, call it NDIS, but you have to make sure you're not clicked on it already. Otherwise it's gonna make it there. So you would click up here on services, new key. So then under NDIS, we're gonna to go to parameters. So again, if it doesn't exist, right click, new key, parameters. So then under parameters, we're gonna make thread priority. So new D word 32 value, type in thread priority. And then the value is hexadecimal one F. I'm doing it like this. So that way, if you have troubles and you don't wanna revert through everything, you can go through these reg edits and see what you changed to be able to change it back. Or you could system restore. So now when we're in here again, we're gonna go to processor affinity mask. If you don't have it, new D word processor affinity mask right here. So this can get a little confusing. So I'm gonna show it in a notepad. So what we're doing is we're binding the network driver to a specific core. So this is where the task manager comes into play again with eight and eight or like eight and 16. 
So if you have eight, you have eight zeros. Okay. So this first zero is going to be my last course. So CPU seven, technically eight, but the first one counts as zero. So if I want to bind it to CPU four, it's going to be in the fifth slot for CPU four. For CPU three, like I have it, it's going to be here. And all you do is you change it to a one. That's if you have eight. You want to bind this to the ones that you did not put your GPU or your USB to. So if you follow my other videos, you most likely are going to put this on your CPU three. If you have double the amount of processors as cores, make sure it's an even number. So like these two will be together. These two will be together. So this would be if you had four cores, eight processors, it's gonna look like this. If you have eight cores, eight processors, it's just gonna be this. But when you're doing this, if you have the double amount, make sure that you start from this right side of the amount that you have. So if you have eight, you have eight zeros. One, two are together. These two are together. These two are together. You can bind it to pretty much any of them and you won't really have an issue. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave a question in the comments on YouTube. Okay, now while we're at the same page here in our reg edit of the system current control set services, we're gonna look for these right here. This is for, NV for AMD, this is for NVIDIA. And what we're gonna do is, so DXG kernel parameters, if it's not there, create a new key. Most of these you're going to have to create a new key. So just click on here, new key parameters. And when you're in here, new D word 32 value, thread priority one F hexadecimal. So we're going to do this for all of these names here. Okay. So these next two steps are going to be unique for everyone. So make sure that you pause as you're going along and check your task manager to see which you have for everything. Okay, so we're going to go into local machine, system, current control set, control, and then over here, SVC host split, split threshold. And we're going to change this value here to however much RAM we have. So I know I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. So we're going to type this in. Click OK. The way to check this is in Task Manager, Memory, however much you have, equates to the amount of RAM you have. There's one more thing I wanted to add in the same way, current control set and then services. So if you have AMD, you do this for the AMD one. NVIDIA, you do it for the NVIDIA one. You're going to add disable write combining. You're gonna have to add this as a new D word. Disable write combining and value of one. Okay, so this one we're going to use the page we pulled up from MS Info 32. We're going to go to hardware resources, IRQs. And now, if you used MSI mode for your driver, and like in the previous video, it's going to be all the way at the bottom. So we're going to need this number right here. We're gonna go into local machine, system, current control set, control, scroll down to priority control. So this is where you have the Win32 priority separation. So what we're gonna do is add a new D word value and we're gonna take this exact thing here for our NVIDIA or AMD. We're gonna change the name of it to IRQ with no space. And then all these numbers you see here. So as you can see, I have it right here. And then add priority to the end. And now for our NVIDIA driver, we're gonna have this as a value of one. And we're gonna do the exact same thing for our USB controller that has our keyboard and mouse connected to it or our controller. So mine is here with 60. We did the exact same thing, IRQ with the number, priority, 
and we're gonna make this a value of two. If you have two USB controllers that you still have connected for things, you can add it as a like number three or you can keep it as number two, but I would prefer if you put it as number three, it'll work better together. Okay, so we're on to one of our last steps here. We're gonna go into our settings, network and internet, our ethernet or Wi-Fi connection, change adapter options, right click on it, go into properties, we're gonna click on our IPv4. If you don't use any of these, I highly recommend disabling them, unchecking them. We're gonna go into properties from here. We're gonna go down to advanced, WINS, disable NetBIOS over TCP IP, then click OK and apply the settings on your way out. Validate settings upon exit. So we're gonna to go to task manager again. We're gonna go over to details. We're gonna sort by name. We're gonna find setting sync host.exe. We're gonna set CPU priority to below normal or just keep it at normal. And we're gonna set the affinity to only CPU seven. If you have issues again, you can also set it to more. If you have a, if you have hyper threading, you have double the amount of cores as processors, you're gonna do the same thing again. Just mark your last two instead of just the last one. So I prefer running Fortnite on high priority. It runs the best for me and it also gives me the most FPS. I put both high priority and normal priority in for registry edits. I know that a lot of people are saying that putting it on normal priority helps with the stutters this season, but for me that is not the case. So I recommend putting it on high priority. Okay, so now in our last step here, we're gonna download the device cleanup.exe and it should look like this. Now these are all non-present devices on your computer, so things that you've unplugged or plugged back in. And what we're gonna do is go to devices, select all, remove selected. Easy enough. I hope this video helps you guys and you can check again in latency monitor and then back into Fortnite again to see if your system is running better and cleaner. Make sure you give it a fresh restart though before checking everything just because we did make a lot of changes to your system. If this did help, I would really appreciate if you guys subscribed. It helps me out a lot. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.